Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create a health orb inside of Roblox Studio. Basically, whenever you touch the orb, it'll disappear and it'll give you health. And after a few seconds, it'll come back and you can use it again. So the first step to making this is going to be to actually create the orb itself. Uh, now, I already have one. Uh, it's just a mesh, a uh, plus sign mesh with a few particles inside of it. If you, have, if you like this and you want one like this, I'll leave a link in the description to this model. But anyways, uh, once you create your model, click onto the model and uh, add a script inside of the part. So inside of the script, we're going to have one variable and it's going to be is touched. So we're, at first, this is going to be false. And then we're going to do something called a touched event, which I've used in other videos. Basically, whenever the, uh, whenever the health orb is touched, we're going to connect a function to it. And hit just refers to the part that is touching the orb. So now we're going to use a humanoid variable. So that's going to be hit and parent. We're going to try to find a humanoid. So basically, if the part has a humanoid, that means it is a character and we only want to give health to the character so if there is a humanoid and it is not touched yet so if is touched is equal to false or another way of doing that is not is touched then we'll give it health so humanoid.health equals or yeah e plus equals uh, let's give it 25 health. Uh, and we also want to set is touched to true. Let's just move that to the top to keep organized. And then after, let's wait a cooldown. Cool down. And you can create a variable for that. So we'll cooldown is equal to, let's say, three seconds. And then we can set is touched back to false. So now, when we press play, we're going to be able to touch the part, and it will give us health. Um, oh, we should probably <laughs> we should make a part that actually reduces our health first. So let's just make a red part, and then what you can do is just copy the script, um, and then just make this a minus sign. So now if we put it here, we can step on this, it'll do damage to us, and then we can touch this, it'll give us our health, and there we go. So that works, but as you can see, the part does not go away. Obviously you don't want this part to be there forever, you want it to disappear after you've already used it. So if you want this to be a one use kind of thing, you could just do uh, script parent destroy, but let's say you want this part to come back after a few seconds of you using it. The way you would do that is first we're going to set it, when you do touch it, we're going to set the transparency equal to 1 so that you can't see it anymore. And you also want to make sure the particles are not visible. So to do that, if you have a lot of particles inside of your part, then you're going to want to use a for loop. So we're going to do for, for underscore particle in pairs, for, um, and we're searching through script.parent.attachment, because that's where all of our particles are. We're just going to get get children. So if you've never used for loops before, all this means is we're searching through this attachment right here for the particles. This variable right here refers to the particle. So we can just do particle.enabled is equal to false. And that's it. Now we can just copy and paste that, set this to true. So now whenever we touch the part, let's go ahead and play here. We touch the part, the particles also go away. Then it, the particles come back after three seconds, and of course we want to set the transparency 
equal to zero so that we can actually see it again. And now, when we go back and test this, let's get rid of some health first. Now we touch this, it goes away. After three seconds, it comes back, we can use it again. It's that simple. Now, let's say you want to take this a step further and you want to make like a sound whenever you touch it. Let's do a variable local sound equals instance dot new sound and then sounds dot sound ID equals let's go into audios. Uh, let's do health. Uh, I mean, you can search up your own audios. But I'll try and find one. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. We're just gonna set this equal to, I believe it's RBX asset ID, something like that. Then we want to set the parent to workspace. Or actually, we should probably set the parent to script.parent. And then we want to play the sound. So sound play. And we want to get rid of the sound after a little bit. So game.debris is what I'm going to use to get rid of the sound. So sound, uh, let's get rid of it after half a second. So now whenever we uh, collect the orb, it will give us health and it'll play a nice little, nice little sound effect. There we go. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Um, if you did like, please do leave a like. It's very helpful. Leave some comments below for what videos I should make next. So yeah, bye.